And good morning. Thanks for joining us on Time Warner Cable News on your Wednesday. Time now 6.01. Well, the sun is a powerful resource, but it takes great minds to help us harness that energy. Scientists at Quantum Materials are working on a new technology that's the next wave of solar panels. And our Jess Mitchell is getting to see it this morning and getting a lesson on how all that works. And she's got her goggles on, lab coat, looking the part. I'm looking the part, Todd, but I don't know if they'd ever let me do any kind of work on this. It's some pretty complicated stuff. What are we even looking at, Steve? I don't even know. Well, what we're doing here is uh, preparing a precursor that is going to ultimately become quantum dots, a, a next generation uh, semiconductor material. Okay, so it's a semiconductor. So like a semiconductor is like a little disc type deal and it harnesses energy or it conducts energy through it? Actually, this is really at the atomic level. So we're the actual semiconductors that we're producing are atomic crystals are called quantum dots. And so they have a, a wide variety of applications our focus primarily is on uh, integrating them into displays, uh, like uh, for your computer screens or your cell phones, uh, into LED lighting, and then into solar cells. Solar cells would be a, a big thing. That's a really good thing to, you know, because we want to harness that energy. But also, you were telling about the biomedical applications of a, of a quantum dot. Yeah, I mean, the, the diversity of this material is really quite amazing. And so one of the other applications is that they can be used for targeted drug delivery at the cellular level. So um, ultimately, you can, uh, rather than have chemotherapy where you're treating the entire body um, to eradicate it of cancer cells, you would actually d do this at the cellular level. So it could almost be like an outpatient type of um, uh, therapy. Okay, so what exactly is spinning in there? Like, what is that? <laughs> what, what, is that what is that solution? Uh, uh, th this solution is what we call the precursor, and this is um, uh, kind of an amalgamation of chemicals uh, that fall under, that, that basically were discovered by our scientist and uh, the scientist at Rice University. Okay. Um, so this eventually then goes into our microreactor um, okay. and produces quantum dots. Which we will be checking out this morning. Hopefully that wasn't too complicated for our viewers. I definitely have um, some more learning to do <laughs> here in the lab at Quantum Materials. But we're going to be checking out the process of quantum dots this morning. Todd? All right. Good uh, learning lesson this morning. Thanks, guys. Looks pretty cool. Now, since 2013, Texas State University students have worked alongside scientists at Quantum Materials. They're helping them with advanced research.